What is up, guys? Today I'm here with Prudence. This is part two. We all asked for it, and today we're about to save you with some hot features of Prudence. So, <laughs> we're gonna have a conversation, we're gonna talk, and then uh, choose some features. So, yeah, let's start. Alrighty, so, half a shot. One, two, three, and. Coming to Kenya to first day, how was it like? How would you describe the feeling? First day, Kenya. Yes. Okay, yes. I was happy. You are happy because in S back in SHS there are yeah. lots of rules, a lot of to do's, do this, don't do this. I felt trapped. How oh, was it? I mean, but you then, wanted your freedom. <laughs> yes. So when I came here, it was more fun, and um, my mom didn't. My mom was a bit overprotective of us. She didn't allow us to go out a lot and everything. So she told us that when we get university to give us a little allowance and everything so i was very 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 excited ah so you wanted your money you wanted your freedom you wanted, to, yes. wanted to be yourself right? yes <laughs> <laughs> oh that's 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 nice that's nice first time on campus first day on campus were you were you, were you confused were you, were you like were you in a lost mood oh no first day on campus i wasn't confused because my sister was already here okay so she already gave me the tips ah. what to do if there's anything wrong, I'll just call in and ask her, what do I do and everything. So, mm. I felt like I... Like home from home? Exactly. Or home away from home? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. What were you in first year? Your hall? I wasn't in a hall. You weren't in a hall? I was in a hostel. Oh, okay. It was my sister's hostel. So. Everything is your sister? Yes. You have to bring your sister. Your yeah. sister has to answer. She has to come. <laughs> so she has been very, very helpful. Oh, wow. Like, she... In, in, in terms of... She, she has made things easier for me. Mm -hmm. like, it's like she has cleared the path so everything is more smoother mm -hmm. than she experienced oh okay yeah. how did you end up with your and why did you choose that course okay so um back in high school mm -hmm. i offered science with geography okay. rather than biology mm -hmm. and it was my dad that kind of coerced me into doing geography and initially i didn't understand why you know that kind of thing your parents want you to do this but um my sister told me once again <laughs> my sister <laughs> mentioned that Stop. probably um, god is using him to direct my path and everything right when i started the course it right. was um interesting was quite interesting and i was grateful to god for um going after the geography yes i was grateful to god when the results came, I did really good with you. I chose geological engineering as my very last course uh, program amongst the others. Uh, I wanted to do mechanical engineering so bad. Wow, you yes. wanted to be a mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that would have been nice. I really wanted to go into mechanical mm -hmm. engineering. But when I was given ge geological engineering, I felt at peace. Like for some reason, I felt at peace. That's nice. And um, all the their ups and downs, I'm enjoying. And I'm grateful. To, I'm really grateful. Okay. Can you cross your arm like that? Yes, like that. Good, good, good. Just reach your head just a bit. Good, good. And uh, then to the side a bit. Good. That's nice. One, two, three, and. You can take your hand off your chair. Then cross it in front of you. Nice. Good. Like that one, two, three, and some ladies were saying you were their head girl mm -hmm. in school. Yeah. So, which school did this happen? Oh, mm -hmm. so, and um, as a head girl of Holy Child School, oh, okay, Holy the, best school, the best girl school in Cape Town. Oh, and that's... the whole gun. Wow, that's that's <laughs> that's nice. Yes, and um, right from Primary, right from primary days, mm -hmm. I was actually the school. Ah, yes. coming in Chimu. I want to start in Greek. So when I got to university, uh, I mean high school, mm -hmm. school, my sister was also in Holy Child. Okay, so your sister has been leading the way since yes, the exactly. 80s. and she was the assistant head girl too. At oh, the time. wow, wow. So um, I didn't have it in mind to be head girl, mm -hmm. but then. When I got there, a lot of people were asking, you know, do you want to be head girl? Do you want to be head girl? The way you behave is 
very healthy like <laughs> so um i don't know what i was like oh why not no don't mind them <laughs> i was like oh why not so initially i didn't want to because of the stress i could see that a uh, lot of stress workload and everything but then um she might have motivated me okay yeah she said i should pray about it mm. and if i really want to i should just go I, I like the way you're standing just like that yes just like that um i'm close to you mm. nice <laughs> You just be there yourself and i'll just try to some people so final words what do you have to say to anyone who's just coming to campus or is in first year uh what has university taught you that you think people should know i mean knowledge to be shared right yes let me leave all to you let me leave all to you yes <laughs> what do you have to say to anyone who's, who's still on campus or is not coming to campus so to those who are on campus those are still on campus and those who are, especially those who are now coming to campus, they may have different mindsets, different plans and everything. But one thing I like to tell them is that from what I've seen, the experiences and the stories I've heard from staying on campus for, for more than three years, I'd advise everyone to find themselves a Bible-believing church and then join and get involved not just to be churchgoers but get involved because that really shields us from making a lot of mistakes and even at the times that we fall we are able to rise and keep going and i think so far i've not had any form of depression or anything as a lot of young youth go through because god has always been there and God also has pushed me to be the best I can be. Right. And he has also brought really good friends my way. But um, I think they're all going the same way. That's nice.